Okay guys, today we're going to make your firefly picture, like you see in the example. And to start, we're going to make a horizon line. Now a horizon line is a line that goes across your paper, okay, and it goes horizontally, goes across, vertically is up and down. So we're going to go across and we're, our paper is horizontal, as you can see. So to start, I'm going to make a line that's, here's half of my paper, so I'm going to go below half, and I'm going to make just a line with a green crayon. Now you're saying, Mr. Caser, I can hardly see that line. Well, the reason we're using blue paper is because when you, you know in the summer when, the, when you see fireflies, it's almost dark, but it's not quite dark yet, and you can see them flying around, and that's why it's blue, because it's, you know, it's starting to get really, it's starting to get dark out, but not all the way. So I'm going to make my grass, and we're going to pretend like we're laying down on the ground, and we're looking at like from an ant's eye view, okay? So I'm going to make my grass by just taking my crayon and going up and down, or you can go you know, make like tall triangles too if you want, but we're going to color this whole thing in, and you can see, you can kind of see the green, but you kind of can't see the green, and I'm going above my horizon line a little bit, because our horizon line is there just so we know how high to make our grass and then we're filling in the rest with the green okay and then we're gonna add your house and a tree that's off in the distance okay so a tree and a house that's off in the distance and I have this white paper underneath mine just to keep the crayon from getting on the desk but you might want to put your paper on the edge of the table so you can go right off onto the table off like into the air okay so you can kind of see my grass there and that's what I was looking for to make it look like there's there's grass but not like we didn't want it too bright because butterflies you can't see during the day okay so there's my grass now I'm going to make a house in the background, and my house you're not going to be able to see very well either because it's it's getting dark out. So I'm just going to make a square, and not a big, big square, okay? And again, I, may, I, I picked colors, and I'm going to draw two rectangles in here, or squares in here, and a rectangle for the door, okay? And it's very hard, I know it's hard for you guys to see that. But I'll have, I'll make the example so you can see it better. But the whole point was to make it so it's you're not really focusing on the house. You don't want to really see the house too well, okay? And I might go over this with a different color again because this is so light. And then in the next step, before I do the next step, I will go over it with a different color. But then here's my roof. My roof is going to be in black, and we know our roof is just a triangle, okay? So I'll just color in my roof. Okay. And you'll see the house better once I, once I uh, go over with a different color. And then I was just going to put a tree over here. There's a tree off in the distance, and the tree just looks like this. It's like the letter... Um, J backwards because the tree is going to be going off the paper and then I just do my lines that go up and down and there is my tree and then I'm going to do some more green up here for branches okay so now I have my grass and my house and my tree okay and I'm going to go back over the house before the next step which is going to be adding the uh, adding the fireflies, which we'll do over at the painting station. Okay.